Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, I'm very excited to be here today because I haven't been on for what feels like ages. I've had a lot of extra courses to do at work and oh, various other things that happen, you know how it is. Now I have to do my usual silly adjustment. I'm sorry, this camera always alters once I turn it on. Hopefully that'll be okay. Um, let me tell you, it is Wednesday afternoon, it's about quarter to five, starting to get dark, well sort of dark, you know, um, not completely dark yet, but just, you know, the day is, is coming to an end, and I have to tell you, it has been so cold the last two days that I feel like really now our spring is over. It's been, um, you will laugh, you guys will laugh at me when I tell you, but it's been down to about... 18 degrees C, which is maybe mid-60s in Fahrenheit, something like that. But the mornings and the nights are very cool. And that's cold for daytime. I mean, that means you need extra layers because, we, you know, we're not used to it. It's been very warm, and it is, in general, a, a warm country. So when it starts getting cold like this, it feels really, really seriously cold. I've got three layers on at the moment. No heaters, of course. Um, I tend not to use heating in the house unless I'm sitting still in one spot, then I do. Um, and I have a lovely electric blanket that I love um, putting on before I hop into bed. So that's very nice. That's definitely one of my concessions to winter. And I have started using it. So it, um, Wednesday is my day when I sleep half the day or sleep for maybe four or five hours, usually four, um, after I've been at work on Tuesday night, which I have done. I went to work last night and came home and had a sleep. Um, I've done an extra course already this week and did one last week. So it has been busy as far as that goes. And all the usual things. I have a, another sick grandchild at the moment who's getting better now, but I've spent a couple of days over there helping her mum and... Um, so yeah, there have been extra things going on. Big outing on Sunday to visit my brother and his wife and their beautiful puppy dog. Who's not a puppy, but you know, I always think of dogs as puppies because I love them so much. They're just a puppy. Dogs are the sweetest things. The way you can look into their eyes and know what they're thinking. And um, he he was a bit naughty at one time. He he um, licked. I think he licked the furniture or himself, I can't remember, and my brother said to him to stop licking, and the look of guilt on his face was just incredible. If I remember, oh no, it's not on this camera, I was going to say I could add it to, to the end of this video, but I can't. It's in my phone, not on this thing. Anyway, um, so that, yeah, that was fun that day, and... Um, yeah, so there's just been stuff going on. Now this, I, I don't want, I don't mean to tease you by telling you that this isn't the video that I intended to make next, but that will come after this one. I, I'll either attach it to this one, um, if this is a quick video, or I'll make a separate video about, you know, my whole thing about reborn dolls and how I got into painting them 10 years ago, coming up for 10 years ago, and and just have a chat about that in general. But there's something that I've been thinking about that I've really wanted to talk to you about and I wanted to do it in a video on its own. So I thought I'll just get that one out of the way. So before I get launched into that, let's have a look at Lottie. This is my Lottie that I made just over a year ago now, a year and a half almost, yeah, because it's almost June. So this is my little girl Lottie. She is the Marianne Kit Sculpt by Natalie Blick. And um, she's lovely. She's about 21 and a half inches. And the, re the reason I wanted this kit um, because was because she was a bit bigger but still had the baby face. And I, I love little babies. They're my, my most favourite um, thing in the world. I always have been since I've been a little girl. Like lots and lots of us, we all have the same sort of story, don't we? And so rather than toddlers or you know, older looking babies. I really like baby looking babies, they're my thing. So that's why I wanted to do her, and so I did, and here she is. So she's wrapped up in this absolutely stunning blanket that I haven't shown you before. In fact, I hate to admit it, but I forgot I even had it. I just 
Oh, I, I hate to say that, it's just terrible, but honestly, when you're a collector of baby blankets and baby clothes, it's so easy to forget what you've got because everything's put away neatly, folded up, and I don't look at it all the time, you know, unless I specifically go to that drawer and pull things out. Um, so you haven't seen this blanket, and I haven't seen it for ages. It's made by that um, Australian brand called Pure Baby. They make everything out of organic cottons. And, and it's just, it's beautiful, it's machine knitted and it's a cream colour and it's just got a bit of a pattern on it and um, yeah, I did forget I had it till I went to the drawer, to my blanket drawer to see what I would wrap Lottie in and I thought, oh that looks nice, <laughs> maybe I'll use that <laughs> and then I remembered what it was and it's got a label on it as well, thank goodness so let me just unwrap her so we can be looking at something rather than just a blanket and I'll show you what she's wearing today and she's dressed more cosily because I'm sorry you guys um, it's it you know you may be very hot where you are so you might get hot looking at this baby I don't know if you will you probably will but she's dressed for the weather and she would if she were a real baby she would certainly I don't know if they put bonnets on real babies anymore while they're asleep. I'm not sure. But um, I think we used to in the old days. Everything's changed. You know, what's safe and what's not. And how to regulate, help regulate their temperatures. But she would be wrapped in a blanket and probably even covered in one because she's still little enough not to wriggle around too much. Or maybe she'd be in a sleep sack. I think babies are often in those, aren't they? And you make sure the top of them is warm and then the sleep sack sleep sack <laughs> keeps the rest of them warm you have to excuse me you know it's a bit odd this night when I work overnight um, on Tuesdays and then everything's a bit you know not that brilliant in my head but anyway so she is wearing a beautiful beautiful I love this um, this all in one it's, um, it's a cream colour and it's just got poppers down the front and down each leg and the feet are in so her feet are warm she hasn't got little turn back, back cuffs on this one, um, but you know she could always have mittens if I wanted to put them on her. I'm not that keen on mittens because um, I love their hands. So um, she has no mittens on, but it is a cream colour, as I said, all in one, and it's got two sorts of elephants on it, small elephants. Um, one is dark pink with light, lighter pink spots, pink ear, a bit of a grey. Um, I think it might be the other ear that we can see there and then a little tusk and a tail and the other elephant is a light pink with no spots and a grey ear and I don't know if the elephants are wearing hats because the light pink one's got like a dark pink thing on the top of its head that could be sort of the other ear but I'm not sure and then the dark pink one's got a grey hat slash possibly ear on the top of its head so um, they're all over the sleeper, there's nothing else on it. And there's a, the thing I love about this sleeper is that it's got a great big Peter Pan collar on it, a really big one, and it's very cute. I do love that. Can you see that? I'll just run my finger along the edge so you can see where the collar goes. There, big collar, and it's got that lovely little um, trim around the edge of the collar, that kind of pico edge in the crochet. Um, it's in a lighter pink, that little trim. And that's about it. The, the bit down the middle that has got the poppers on it is just the plain cream without a print on it. The feet are all the same fabric too. So that's what she's wearing. And it's by Rachel Riley. And this is, I think I've got two of these now. I've got this, this all-in-one with the elephants and then I've got that cream one with the navy, um, let me think, the navy pram print on it which I absolutely love that one. That's a classic. So that's almost identical. It's just the fabric is different. It's got the big Peter Pan collar on it. And also now, so that's the two Rachel Riley all-in-ones I've got. I love them. It's beautiful. I mean, you pay for it. It's a beautiful, thick cotton, soft as anything material. And then she's wearing on her head to keep her little bald. She's not completely bald. She's got hair. I painted her some hair if you can see that. I mean, you've seen Lottie before, probably, if you've been to my channel for a little while. Um, so she's wearing a hand-knitted cream bonnet that does up under the chin with a strap, and it joins onto the bonnet with a little pom-pom 
a cream pom pom on either side, and I think it's very cute. She's actually got booties that match, but she's not wearing those today, obviously. And today she has got her lovely little bunny. This is actually a jelly cat bunny, but it's different shape to the usual one, and it's very tiny and very adorable. It's in a, a light brown colour. It's got white trim inside the sticking up ears and a little pink nose and sweet little eyes, little glass eyes. So that's what, that's my Lottie. And what I wanted to talk to you about today was really the elephant, haha, <laughs> very clever of me, in the room and that is what's been going on on YouTube. I have said to you before that I don't watch channels that are being mean to other people, I don't get involved, I'm not interested, in, it doesn't affect me. But I have noticed, and this is the reason I've come on today, I have noticed that there are people who have nothing to do with what's going on, who are still upset and hurt by it, and they're concerned for what it does to you know, our reputation and how it might affect new people coming into the hobby. And... Um, so I just wanted to talk about that and I just wanted to tell you how I kind of see this and why it doesn't affect me. And it may, I don't know, you may completely disagree and think I'm bonkers, which is quite possible, of course. Um, but this is, I just thought I'd let you know how I, how I kind of picture the whole, the whole kind of YouTube and what goes on thing. I see it as a giant room, like a really big, well-lit up room full of happy people at a party. So there's, I see there's sort of balloons, you know, those ones, the helium ones that kind of just float around by themselves. And, uh, and there are people walking around with plates of food. And there's some people sitting down and chatting in groups. Some people are standing up and chatting in groups. And, you know, it's just a really happy, lovely, brightly lit, happy place. And, but over in the corner, I see there are a few people gathered together and their corner is sort of feels dark just because it's over near an edge and they're kind of out of, out of the main throng and thrust of happiness that's going on with everybody. So they're over in a corner having a big discussion about something and actually there are even a few people outside of the main doors. So they're actually outside in the garden. They're not, not even in the room, not even in the corner. And both those groups of people, the people who are outside the main door and the people who are in the corner gathered, are having fairly heated discussions with each other. They're not all friends, um, but they're complaining about stuff. They say that they don't like the balloons that were chosen. They think the person who chose those balloons and paid for them was an idiot. They just think she's crazy. Why would you choose those balloons? And some people are thinking, well, those balloons aren't too bad. I, I, I'm, I don't mind. But, you know, they, they're interested in what's going on. They put in their little bit and say, oh, I think the balloons are okay. And they get shot down straight away. The other people say, no, they're ridiculous. Look at the colours. They're just ugly and they don't go together. And why would you spend your money on those balloons? That's silly. And then there's a few other people standing around and they're not really joining in the balloon situation and conversation because they are angry about something else. They're angry about the way that the the way that the food's being brought round and who would have thought of that? That food's no good. On that tray it looks awful and it's too difficult to eat and who would have made that decision? And they're complaining about that. And they just think that the person who organised the catering was, you know, who would have done it like that? They think it's just stupid and useless. So in that corner I see that there are very unhappy people. The people outside the door are actually fighting each other. They are so angry with each other because they have different opinions and they're judging others and they're thinking, that's completely wrong, you're a fool, I, I'm so angry I almost can't look at you. So that's what's going on outside. While it, as all of this is happening in the corner and outside the doors, there's the main group of everybody which would be what, 95% probably of all the people who have been invited to the party, having a great time, having, you know, chatting and eating and just enjoying 
enjoying the atmosphere and enjoying being together with people they know and people they don't know. You know, there's mingling and chatting and it's lovely and they're really enjoying getting to, getting to know each other. Um, every now and again, somebody from the main group splits off and goes over to listen to what's happening in the corner. And either they decide that they agree and they want to get into that discussion about balloons or food, they really want to have their say, and so they start to join in. They get a bit upset and cranky and, you know, they want to make sure that they're heard and then they have their say and either they, either they stay there to join in and, and listen to what else is being say, said and want to attack the, the balloon person or the catering person or they think, OK, I've heard it, I've had my say, I'm going to move back into the main group and enjoy myself. Now, of course, while that's going on as well, other people are outside fighting, which always attracts a crowd, doesn't it? People want to see what's happening. So there are a few interested people gathered around there. Either they stay or they come back to the main group and tell the main group. There are some very angry people outside. Um, I saw what was happening. I didn't like it, so I've come back. So that's really how I see what goes on with YouTube. I hope you can sort of see what I'm getting at. That you know, the m most of us are happy here, love showing our dolls, showing our outfits, talking about our experiences, showing our new babies if we get them, and just making friends. You know, it is wonderful on YouTube that you really can make very close friends, even if they're in another country. It's a very exciting part of YouTube, and I really love that aspect to it. I've got some very good friends here, as most of us have once you get into it for a while. You know, I've reached out to people. Um, you know, sometimes you feel a connection with what people talk about. Um, not necessarily the dolls they collect. It's really more about the person, isn't it, when you, you feel that little spark of connection. And lots of times it's not reciprocated. The other person, you know, doesn't sort of respond to your comments or whatever. But sometimes they do. And over time you build up a relationship and it's a brilliant place to be. But... What I see happening in the corner and outside the door are people who, for whatever reason, um, are on the defensive. I think they've been attacked a lot in their lives and feel they need to defend themselves and attack back. And I think that we need to let them do that if that's what they need to do. But I also don't think we need to join in. I think we need to just focus on what we do and hope that they come back to the happy part of the room. I think they will in time once they either exhaust themselves. I mean, they may end up outside altogether and not come back. But it, you know what? It is up to them and it's their decision and we have to let them find themselves and go through whatever they need to go through for themselves. If they reach out for help, I hope that they get help. And in the meantime, we just leave them to it because there's not a lot that we can do except keep enjoying ourselves and enjoying our babies. I really believe that. And hopefully they'll come back and join in as well. But I don't think we need to join in or highlight what they're doing. I think it's their, you know, it's their stuff and they need to deal with it themselves. So I think everybody, let's just stay in the main part of the party. Let's enjoy what we're doing and hope that those people sort out whatever's going on. But you know what? It's to, not really to do with YouTube what they're doing. It's to do with how they feel about themselves and about how their lives have been in the past. And that's what, that's what informs their reactions and their decisions. So it's up to them to go through what they want to, to either keep fighting or come back to the party. And basically that's all I want to say. And my goodness, that took a long time. I am sorry. I, I thought this was going to be a quick video. I, um, I hope that you know what I'm talking about and I'll be very, very interested to read your comments to see how you feel about what I've been talking about. Um, I absolutely promise I'll... Actually, I'll now know I make, I'll make a separate video and that will be the next one, the absolute next one. I'll change Lottie and we'll come back and I'll talk about my reborning, um, how I got into reborning and artwork and all of that stuff. It's, it's, um, I guess it'll end up being a big story, but to me it feels as though it's going to be quick, but, you know, me and yakking. So to anybody new here, I welcome you with open arms. We're in my kitchen where I usually film because the lighting is good because of the overhead thing I've got up on the ceiling. 
it's um I've said it before, but it's a strip kind of fluorescent thing. My son put it in, and it's very good because it's it's getting dark outside, and the lighting hasn't really changed for Lottie. So yes, um, if you're new, you're very welcome. Any time you'd like to to drop in, I I talk a lot. I hope that's okay. If you don't like it, please you don't have to stay. I'm not upset. You know, we all choose the channels we want to watch. So um, Lottie and I will say goodbye to you now and thank you all very, very much for your comments. Um, that's one part, when you don't make videos, you miss out on all those connections and I really miss them, so I love reading your comments. And I haven't quite embraced that heart button. I've been using it, but I haven't been able to resist leaving a reply to your comments so far. I'm working on that, so when I'm very busy and don't have time to reply, I will just use the heart button. But if I do have a chance to reply, I will. Um, so that's where things stand with that. Um, I talked about that last time in my last video. Anyway, there, I see that's what I do. I try to say goodbye and then I launch into something else. That seems to be my trademark. I feel sorry for my children because I do it to them too, of course. I do it to everybody I talk to. There's always one more thing I want to say and it always comes to mind after I've said goodbye. But guess what? This time I'm really, really going to say goodbye. We'll just wrap Butty up again just to make her cosy and warm while we say goodbye to you. And I'll see you soon. Lottie will be in an outfit with layers, so be prepared to feel hot when you look at her um, because it really is getting cold here. So until next time, um, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for being part of our channel. We love to have you here. And we'll see you all very soon. So in the meantime, everyone, please take care. And be kind to each other. Let's all join the party and eat the food and enjoy the balloons. Bye-bye, everyone. Mm -hmm.